Pinocchio is directed by Guillermo del Toro and Mark Gustafsson and I'm very excited to give you guys my review for this movie. If you've seen it, be sure to leave a comment of what you thought about it as well. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this review. So this movie is a retelling of that classic Pinocchio story and this movie did what I hoped the Disney live action remake that came out this year would have done and that is take that story and make this movie feel like it's still that Pinocchio story but make it different, make it stand out and be unique. And this movie, like I said, still feels like that Pinocchio story, but it does things differently. There are things that were key elements of that original movie and they're there in this, but they handle it differently. Like the, for example, uh, Pinocchio becoming a real boy. That's the main part of that original story. And that idea is sort of in this movie, but it's handled differently which I quite like. This movie also delves deeper into certain things that are sort of mentioned in the original movie. This movie delves deeper into it. Sometimes it shows you those things. Uh, one of the main ones I noticed was with uh, Geppetto. This movie starts with maybe five to 10 minutes roughly of showing Geppetto's backstory of his real son or his original son, uh, should I say. And that stuff you don't see in the original movie that this movie delves deeper into that and this movie like i said has similar beats to that original one but it handles them differently and i really like that i like it when remakes adaptations of original sources take that uh, those ideas but do something different to make it stand out make it unique that's what this movie did it definitely felt unique because there's plenty of Pinocchio movies out there you got the classic one there's the Disney remake that came out this year that just pretty much felt like the exact same movie as the original one and there's some other live action remakes I've seen some of them not all of them this one was great and one thing that I really liked about this was the look of the movie the stop-motion animation in this was great and the detail that went into the designs of the characters and the sets was amazing the people clearly worked very hard on it it was fantastic everything looked great the voice acting I thought was really good as well David Bradley played Geppetto he did a great job Hugh McGregor played the cricket and he did a great job for me some of the biggest laughs came from Hugh McGregor as the cricket and Pinocchio was played by Gregory Mann who did a great job voice acting Pinocchio and Pinocchio in this I thought was really good very not very different from the traditional Pinocchio but like they expanded and did things different with them like in the previous movies he's always you know trying to be that real boy and has to learn you know right from wrong and I thought in this movie they did maybe a better job of showing him not really knowing to obey his father which I could see maybe at points could get on some people's nerves because it maybe got a bit too much at points and for me at times it got a little bit too much but it wasn't too bad but for other people it might have been a bit too much and there are definitely other parts of this movie where they added new ideas there was one part I was did not see coming at all and I was like oh this movie's going in a bit of a different direction and if you've seen the movie you may know the part I'm talking about and it was very different and if you're somebody who wants them to stick more closely to the original movie like the remake from Disney that came out this year you may not like stuff like that but while I was like surprised at first because I didn't see it coming I enjoyed it I thought it was a cool new idea and some other characters that were in the classic movie actually get more to do in this movie. There's some characters that I think are completely removed and other characters sort of fill their place that were in that original movie and they're just in it more than they were in the original. Uh, I thought that was fine. And I think all the characters in it, I pretty much enjoyed even the, the villains, the good guys. I thought they were all pretty good all the voice acting was really good I think for me the one aspect of this movie of the at least of the things that they changed that wasn't quite as strong for me was the aspect or the portion of the movie that uh, had to do with all the little kids there's that part in the original movie where you got all those kids going to that big uh, carnival type area and they turn into donkeys they do something different in this movie and I thought it was an interesting way to go and I applaud them for doing something different it just 
I found it watching it, it just wasn't as interesting to me. And I can see other people finding it more interesting. Just for me, it's like, oh, it's it's fine. I could kind of see where they're going to go with it. And I won't give away what it is in case you haven't seen it. That aspect, that was the one thing that they did change. I think I kind of enjoyed the original version a bit more. Everything else I thought they did just as well, if not better. Like they expanded on things like Geppetto's story. And I think they changed some dynamics, which was really good. Added some characters that I thought were good for this movie. And that I just also loved the look of this movie. The stop motion animation was great. As I've already mentioned, they did a great job with the detail and just how it looked, how the characters moved. It was great. And there are some laughs in here. There's some heartfelt moments, which is what you want from the Pinocchio story. Overall, I thought this was great. This movie did what I hoped the Disney uh, live action remake would have done. It was the Pinocchio story, but unique. They did stuff to make it a little bit different, stand out on its own, and most of their stuff that they changed worked for me. There was just that one aspect that it wasn't that I disliked it. I just didn't like as much of what they did in the original movie, but that was just me. Overall, I thought this was a great movie. It hit like all the beach I'd want out of a Pinocchio story and I got things I wasn't expecting. I really enjoyed this movie. I would give this Pinocchio movie an 84%. So those are my thoughts on this movie. If you guys have seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it as well. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and be sure to stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. My next video will be of Amsterdam, the new movie with Margot Robbie, uh, Christian Bale, and uh, John David Washington that came out. So stay tuned for that. And until my next video, take care, everybody.